quite literally an extra appendage. It is glued to my palm, stitched to my hip. It is my notebook. A well of unfinished poems and songs. It is my hype man. Fill with playlists to help me channel my inner Gwen Stefani, my inner Spice Girl. To get in touch with my sensitive side with Drake. It is my ego. With DMs from guys whose dates I've declined. It is my paintbrush, my canvas, my phone. My thumbs glide like I'm the day is over. Ivory on my own. I can recall no birthdays or numbers. Sorry, Dad. My phone is my brain. It is my world. And even as I stand here, my soul begs to know what I am missing. What happened in Brooklyn last night? What policy is being shaped behind closed doors? Whose quote speaks to my present life? Which child is acting too grown? Which philanthropic cause deserves a share? Which, what did Beyonce wear and what did a Kardashian do this time? My phone is the technology that is a part of me. I lost my phone once and woke without my calendar and thus without a purpose. Spun in circles for an hour and sometimes I feel guilty for giving in to this cyborg life, for not knowing where I end and where technology begins, for never, log for never logging off, auto-tuning out, for feeling as if my voice has to be synthesized and digitized to be heard. Does my need for technology make my own intelligence artificial? Is this an upgrade or a destruction of self? Is my body, brain, and mind able to still exist with technology's help? The answer is overwhelmingly, and as they say in Italy, see. I've seen through dating apps how the right life can translate to love. Reached my niece at NYC from a hotel in Italy with just a touch. Since my feet touched the Gucci concrete, I've seen how four people can sound like a thousand with the right DJ, reminding me that four people can inspire 4,000 with a post. I learned that science rules us to grow, embrace the divinity once imagined, evolve, transform all we know. I can imagine, I can imagine bionic immune systems bringing an end to my lupus flares, tracking my palpitations, monitoring my sanity, unlocking the brain's mysteries. I look forward to the day the body blends with science to bring healing. Imagine a way that detected my blood clots before they formed. Messages sent to doctors automatically order prescriptions. This is innovation. Learned how a city can nurture a new generation, how technology can connect communities. I've learned how on a bike, in an office, and in a staff, digital spaces can translate to true life, connecting people across the map, feeding the soul while fueling social change. Technology shares ideas. So much good can be done in this digital age, but this power requires wisdom. Focus on balancing rather than conquering. Consider the consequences of creation. Avoid hijacking human attention or recreating the Garden of Eden where perfection destroys itself. My phone is not a weapon or a distraction. Just an example of a level of introspection, an amalgamation of need and want. The reality that I can conquer my day, but the reality that my brain, my brain can hold but so much. Grateful for the possibility of a future where technology is considered a mirror to learn myself, where innovation is considered a cast and it's not considered a crutch. Thank you.